In this video, we're going to be breaking down Noah up next dollar defense. So this is Noah up next versus Clef the God. This is the final game for FNF for the season of Madden 22. Now they're going to go ahead and restart usually a few weeks into Madden 23. Now we don't know anything about the MCS, what's going on. They haven't actually announced anything, which is kind of frustrating because I want to know because I got to take time off of work if I want to go ahead and compete in this stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But right here. You're going to go ahead and just see a lot of DB fire two from Noah. This is going to be the focus. Noah's defense. Now, I will say this. I feel like Noah got pretty freaking lucky a lot this game versus Clef the God. And I don't Clef just seems like he can never finish. And that's the number one problem I think Clef has from getting over that hump is just being able to finish a game strong. Now, fourth and 21, guys, don't play soft defense. Send everybody. In fact, that guy in the vert hook right there, disagree. Don't leave him in coverage. It's pointless. Send the dogs. Play the sticks and send seven. I'd almost even use but tech. I'd almost use our safety right here and just let all my linebackers just go after the quarterback. But do not leave any of your linebackers in coverage. Send the dogs. Again, it's fourth and forever. And right here, you can see he picks it up. And he gets super lucky right here. This is why. That is why you send the house. It's a, it's it's critical that you don't just play soft deep. That's right here. You can see he's changing his flats in anticipation of stopping verticals. Potentially Z spot and go corner outs crossers all those kind of things you can see verticals 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 and you can see right there what happens if they don't roll out to the side of the crosser the crosser doesn't get open if they stand in the pocket the crosser has no chance in getting open and in Madden 23 pocket passing is going to be significantly more important than anything in the game if you've got a good pocket you're going to have a great time in Madden 23 if you don't have a good pocket this year start working on it now as you can see right there again getting screamed now second to 19 second to 19 i'm sending a blitz again i'm gonna probably send it edge blitz three in the situation but i don't believe no blitz he he never sends his edge blitz three because you have to worry about play action and then they could potentially just block the tight end audible over the tight slots hp weak verticals and just you know streak running back and look for any seams look for wheel routes you know how this game likes to go so right here again verticals 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 he has acrobat on his user that is how he's able to animate now i don't know lurker not lurker whatever it's called acrobat it's a love-hate relationship with pretty much everybody in the game. Now, we all know how powerful wheel routes and crosses are in Madden 22. But after the first coaching session, John Rob was bagging wheel routes. Tayway went on to beat the number one ranked player in the world. So the Discord link is going to be linked below. It is free weekly coaching sessions and a whole lot more. But let's go ahead and get back to this video. When it does animate and gets you a pick, great, but more often than not, it's just going to go ahead, leap for the ball, and do nothing else at all. It's just going to simply leap for the ball, and I'm pick it off. Now, I've tried pick artist in combination with acrobat, and it does nothing, okay? Don't even waste your time on that. It does nothing whatsoever. So, again, gun bunch verticals always take the crosser away because if he stands in the pocket, that crosser is going to be open right there. Throw it away. Good defense. There's nobody open because the main defense will eventually catch up, but, again, if he stands there, he can throw it over the top very confidently. So, right here, tight slots HP weak. Against any compressor like this, I am sending the blitz, okay? Send the blitz every single time. Make them make a quick read. Take away the first read. I like this right here. Curl flats are going to be taking away the little shallow crosser. You can see right there. Good defense, but you can still fit that crosser. What an insane play. I don't even know how that actually should ever happen, but it's Madden 22. Anything can happen in this game. Cross body, man. And again, escape artist. It's an X factor. Running out of the pocket is super difficult. In fact, a contain with people coming off the edge and a non-contained blitz is very good in Madden 22, uh, provided that you can have a good user and you can cover the part of the field you need to. But gun tight slots HP weak right here. Where's the crosser? Where's the corner? Okay, we're looking for that corner out. See that corner out? That corner out would have been open if he just stand in the pocket. But that's the big issue is everybody likes to roll out. And that's why contains, getting a good contained defense is what separates the good from the great in Madden 22. So right there, again, changing his zone drops. You can see he's going to go ahead and drop his hooks to a little bit more shallow because in first and 10 inside the 15, well, actually, usually inside the goal line, you can go ahead and blitz a lot of people. This is how I like to play inside the goal line is I'll blitz a lot of people. I have my safeties and hook curls and just simply play, let them play underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and take anything like a wheel route 
uh, pretty much anything that's not in the middle field, I'm not gonna worry about. So, or anything that's not in the middle field, I am gonna worry about. So right here, gun bunch, gun bunch, gun bunch. Anytime they come out on the short side and they flip it, verticals. Okay, nine times out of 10, they flip a bunch offset or bunch from the short side over to the wide side. It is verticals and just watch for the freaking crosser. Gun bunch offset. Look, he's coming out to the short side. Audibles potentially. If he audibles, I'm expecting verticals. He does not. Yet again, it's still verticals. You can see how good this play is. If somebody... If a pro player pay attention to this in Madden 23, if a professional Madden player is spamming one play again and again, it is because it is a good play. And perhaps you should start using that play. And trust me, with DB Fire 2, it's going to be one of those defenses that's going to be very popular. Why? Talk about Madden 23 real quick while this game is going on. One, it does not get weak boxed against anything in the game. I haven't seen goal line. I'm waiting for practice mode. Someday practice mode will come out and I'll find out everything that weak box is dollar. But it does not get weak boxed against a four tight end set. Okay. Now that was like single back, ace heavy, single back heavy, whatever it's called. Doesn't get weak boxed against that, which makes me think it does not get weak boxed against goal line. Meaning you could run DB Fire 2 against goal line in Madden 23. This is beta though. Things could potentially change with Madden when the game comes out. So right here, gun tight side chest be weak. Drops the safety into hook curls. Of course, you always drop them to safeties and hook curls are gonna blitz heavy. Keep them playing in the middle of the field. Good defense right there locks it all up. Again, second and goal, I like the same idea. Send the blitz, drop your safeties into hook curls. Otherwise, this is that's the bit most fluky bailout I've ever seen. That's a high point pass. Six yards behind him, and he, he, he animates. Bar here, this is the game. Clef's going to go ahead and rage quit. Fourth and two, he gives it up fairly easily. But if you guys are new to the channel, as always, be sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.